Welcome to Rockstar Tech Tips. My name is Nathan Smith, and I'm the Digital Literacy Specialist for the Central Arkansas Library System. I teach a lot of technology classes in my job, and I've found over time that there are a lot of little tricks and shortcuts that I know as a tech-savvy person that aren't as obvious to folks with a little less technology experience. So I'm creating this weekly video series to bring those tips and tricks to you. You don't have to just muddle through with technology. You can be a technology rock star. These tips are for really anybody who uses technology, but I'm going to assume that you know just a few basic things. For example, how to turn your computer on and off, how to use the mouse, move it around and click things, and how to use the keyboard, even if your technique isn't perfect. Don't worry about it, mine isn't either. Speaking of the keyboard, today I'm gonna to show you a keyboard shortcut that I find really useful. But what's a keyboard shortcut? A keyboard shortcut is a combination of keys you can press on your keyboard to make your computer take an action. Usually when you use a keyboard shortcut, you'll need to hold down one or more of the keys in the bottom corner of your keyboard. Usually that's the control key, the alt key, or the shift key. And then while you're holding those down, you'll need to press another key on the keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts are really useful because once you get the hang of them, you don't have to look for that option on screen anymore. And if you're in the middle of typing something, you don't have to worry about moving your hand over to the mouse in order to click the option on screen. Plus, the shortcuts that I'm going to show you work in almost any program in all of Windows. They even work on Apple computers, and I'll show you the Apple version of this shortcut at the end of the video. For now, though, let's get started. The one I'm going to show you today is one of the best keyboard shortcuts there is, undo. Undo with the keyboard shortcut Control z is time travel. Undo reverses the last action you took. We're all human and we all make mistakes, so undo is a really helpful thing to have at your disposal. Let me show you how it works. I have this Word document here that I'm working on, and let's say I accidentally delete a paragraph of text I meant to keep. That's really frustrating. I don't want to have to retype it all, but thankfully, I can just use undo. The keyboard shortcut for undo is Control z so I just hold Control and press Z. You don't have to hold them down for long, and you can let go of both keys as soon as you press them. No need to hold them down. I'm going to make a few more changes to this document. All right. I've made a few changes, and I now realize some of them were mistakes. Thankfully, in most programs, you can undo multiple steps. The last thing I did was to change the color of this text, so I can undo that by pressing Control-Z again. The second to last thing I did was to add this table, so when I press Control-Z now, it undoes that. Before that, I deleted the last sentence of this paragraph up here, so I can bring that back to, again, by pressing Control z So as you can see, undo is really useful. Once you know the keyboard shortcut, you don't have to look for it in option menus or on screen anywhere, actually. But let's say I undo some work I wanted to keep. A lot of programs also have a redo function. Redo. If you accidentally undo some of your work, Get it back by using the redo option. Unfortunately, redo doesn't always have a keyboard shortcut, and it's not consistent in every program. So in Word, I'll click this arrow at the top of the screen that points to the right. The undo button is the one next to it that points to the left. And now the sentence that I removed using undo comes back. If I click it again, this picture, which I also removed, comes back as well. I can keep using redo over and over again for a little while, but there is one important limitation to redo that I want to point out. If you look up at the top of the screen here, you'll notice right now my redo button is highlighted in white and I can click it as much as I need to. But if I make another change somewhere in the document, like so, you'll notice that now my redo button has been replaced by the repeat button, which allows me to perform an action over and over again. In this sense, undo and redo really work like time travel in a movie. If you use undo to travel back in time through your file's editing history, 
and you make some changes to the timeline, I mean document, at that point, the version of the document from before you hit undo is gone. So you can't redo at that point. So if you use undo, particularly multiple times, just look over your work to make sure you didn't undo anything you intended to keep. If you did, redo right then so you don't lose your work. Once you've practiced the undo shortcut, it'll be second nature for you to use it whenever you make a mistake while working on your computer. Plus, as I mentioned before, this will work in almost any program. If you're using an Apple computer or Mac, you can use this shortcut as well. The only difference is you'll need to hold down the command key on your keyboard rather than the control key. So the shortcut becomes command Z. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please come back next week. If you want to be notified when a new episode arrives, you can click subscribe down below. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day and rock on. Mm -hmm.